And what is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills. And today we're gonna be headed to GameStop because I am finally upgrading to a PlayStation 4 Pro. Yes, I know. How am I a YouTuber and a streamer and I don't have a PlayStation 4 Pro? I feel like I'm behind the curve. I'm gonna head over there right now because they actually have a really good deal on PlayStation 4 trade-ins. You usually get just $125 per trade-in, but right now they're running a special where you get an additional $50, so that's gonna bring me into a total of $175 towards my new PlayStation 4 Pro that I don't have to pay. So I figured, hey, I could probably sell it for $200 on OfferUp or let go, but why not just take advantage of getting $175? I don't have to deal with the hassle with meeting up with anybody. I can just sell it, and then I can just purchase a PlayStation 4 Pro right there at GameStop. So we're headed there right now. I'm gonna go in there and then I'll be upgrading to a PlayStation 4 Pro. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna take you along this journey. GameStop and as you just saw in my receipt I was able to walk out of GameStop with only paying $238 for a brand new PlayStation 4 Pro and the way I was able to walk out of there with only paying $238 is I got $125 for my PlayStation 4 also they have a special going on when you trade in the system you get an additional $50 so I use that towards my PlayStation 4 Pro now you only pay tax on the remaining balance I'm gonna head home right now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this vlog with me opening up the PlayStation 4 Pro and showing you what's inside of it once we get home. So I'll see you guys in just a second. So we're gonna open up this PlayStation 4 Pro and show you everything that's inside of it. I just got home, so I'm gonna need some help real quick. Let me put this to the side. See everything that comes inside of here. So when you first open the box, you get your safety guide. So we're gonna open this up. So in this box, it looks like we have our power cord, the cable to connect our controller. I wonder what's in there, so let's open that up. Yeah, so we have a new controller in here. And here we have the HDMI cord. Sony Bluetooth headset, which I don't need. We're done with that. What's in here? I think the, the only thing left in here is the PlayStation 4 Pro. Let's move this box out the way. Let's look at this bad boy. It's a lot bigger than my PlayStation 4 Slim. That's what she said. <laughs> Ooh. 
there you go Look at that logo so this is the playstation 4 pro if you've ever seen the smaller ones it was a lot smaller but this bad boy is very clean looking this is the one terabyte i believe that the playstation 4 pro only comes in one terabyte so this is what the back looks like. The one thing I'm gonna tell you guys that is a big difference is this optical cable. My PlayStation 4 Slim doesn't have it and the original PlayStation 4 had it. Now when you have a wireless headset, you really need one of these. Um, if you don't have that optical cable, you have a lot of issues and I personally had to switch my headset out because of not having this optical cable. Now that I have it, I can probably get a different headset even though I do like my A10 Astros. So yeah, that is what comes in the PlayStation 4. I'm gonna clean up this mess, hook it up, and I need to re-download all my games because you see I have a real mess on this desk right now. I'm gonna put everything in the box, get it ready to go, and then I need to re-download God of War, re-download The Division, and then of course Fortnite. And I'm excited to test this bad boy out, see what it's all about. This is the PS4 Pro, perfect time for you guys to upgrade. I took advantage of that GameStop deal. I decided to make this video since I am upgrading, and that way you guys can kind of see everything you get in the PlayStation 4 Pro. A few minutes later. So this is my setup. I finally got everything set up. I have the PlayStation 4 Pro over here on the right hand side with my computer. The one thing is I need to do a little bit of cable management. Remember this is a guest bedroom. We are just renting this place right now. We're looking for our own place in the future. We're saving up for that. So right now I'm not sure how I want to do the cable management. How I don't want to do anything too permanent because in case we do move, I don't wanna to have to really worry about that. But there is the HD60 right there, the Elgato, that's my capture card. I ordered an HD60 Pro capture card for my desktop. I'm gonna install that as soon as I get it. Should have it this week. I have the PS4 Pro right next to it. I have the new controller charging right now. Um, we're doing the setup as we speak. I have my two other controllers that are always on standby. Another PlayStation 4 controller, and then I have the Scuff Gaming controller. So we're going to finish setting this up. This is a really exciting experience. I haven't been able to test out this new PlayStation 4 Pro. Everybody keeps telling me so many good things about it. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys again for enjoying this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nothing But Skills is out.